Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will numerically simulate the brake disc system conduction heat transfer. Brake is among the most widespread units with the non-stational friction. We use braking friction system for damping the kinetic energy of the rotational or translational motion of the masses by friction forces. By braking, one can decrease the velocity of the relative sliding to zero or to the given value. In the course of operation of braking units, parameters like velocity, temperature, friction varying characteristics of material vary great greatly. In this project, the heat conduction of a brake disc system is modeled and simulated in ANSYS-1 software. The disc revolves with a speed of 20 radian per second and a braking pad is set to make contact with the disc. This frictional contact will result in heat generation inside the disc and the pad. The heat produced in the contact region will be dissipated based on the heat conduction formula. Energy and laminar model is activated. Also, MRF model is activated to model the rotational motion of the disc. A UDF is implemented to account for the radial heat flux. The model geometry for this simulation consists of a brake disc and a pad and a fluid flow domain. The geometry is designed in Gambit software. Also, the geometry is meshed inside Gambit software, and the mesh type used for this geometry consists of both type of a structured and, a stru un and unstructured mesh, and the element number is 198,594. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. After expanding the solid under the material section, you can see that two materials of aluminum and steel have been defined. Now, the material of steel has been defined in this project in order to apply it to the bread disc. After double clicking on the boundary condition button in the appeared part, uh, you, if you click on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. After clicking on this wall boundary and then clicking on edit, under the thermal tab you can see that the thermal condition of heat flux is defined for this boundary. And the rate of heat flux applied on this boundary is equal to zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. After clicking on the chassis boundary, under the momentum tab you can see that the ball motion is defined to be moving ball, and still the shear condition is no slip. Uh, under the motion section, you can see that the relative to adjacent self option has been defined with the rotational velocity, and the speed is defined to be 0 radian per second. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change these under relaxation factors. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. And now in this slide, you can see the temperature distribution in our computational domain and in our uh, brake disk system. You can obviously see the temperature has increased on the brake disk because of the friction. Here, you can see the changes of the surface heat transfer coefficient for this. Now here, you can easily see the airflow streams entering the computational domain and how they uh, cool down the brake disk system after uh, gaining temperature because of the frictional break. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.